Hey, it's time for another Hank Parker Rewind. We're doing one of these a month. I wish we were doing one a week. I love this. Uh, looking back, golly, but uh, and youth, uh, it, it's crazy how time has flown. But uh, uh, today we've got a really, really special guest, and you probably recognize him. Uh, I don't believe he had but one hit record when we did this show, so you can see what I've done for his career. So this is going to be great. Watch this. Cast. Been watching, have you? Yeah, there's this guy on TV. There we go. Got him. He's a big one. All right, that's a good release. I like that. Brad? Already a double. Double's pretty good right off the bat, isn't it? Boy, it's really a privilege for me to have you on the show. I've been listening to you ever since. Who needs your pictures? Well, we... Likewise, I've been uh, watching your show since I... Now don't tell me. <laughs> since I was about four. <laughs> oh, I need you to do it. <laughs> Which would have been about your tenth year. <laughs> You know how bad that hurts. That hurts really dead. And my grandpa was a big fan. <laughs> I'm going to show you what an unselfish person I am. I'm going to share the singing spotlight with my guest today, Mr. Brad Paisley. Now, I know he can't Look sing as good as I good. can, but he don't know it, so we won't tell him. But we're going to have a ball. We're going to be catching bass and singing songs. So stay with it. It's going to be a lot of fun, I promise you. I'm Hank Paul. Hank Parker's Outdoor Man. We got in to get, get into the singing song, but, but the third song I sang, Brad stopped me and he said, you are without a doubt the absolute worst I have ever heard in my life. I can't believe anybody cannot carry a tune any better than you can. And then later on he told me he thought I could make a lot of money recording. He thought if they would record my singing, and play it in these malls where they were having a fire and they needed to evacuate. They could play my song and they'd get out of there a whole lot faster than if a siren was blaring. So he wasn't very complimentary to my singing, but uh, I thought I did a better job than he did anyway. Magazine. In our second decade, featuring the finest in outdoor family entertainment. This season, Hank's show is brought to you in part by AC Delco. When the right way is the only way, Choose AC Delco Automotive Parts. And by Kelly Tires. A good deal on a great tire. The house needs painting, the grass needs mowing, where's he at? He's gone fishing. Timber back early the first morning, what do you think? Washer. Well, I love her, but I love the fish. I spend all day out on this lake, and hell is all I catch. But today she met me at the door, said I would have to choose. And if I hit that fishing hole today, she'd be packing all her things and she gone by noon Well I'm gonna miss her when I get home Right now I'm on this lake shore and I'm sitting in the sun I'm sure That door tonight, yeah, I'm gonna miss her. Oh, 
song i played rhythm guitar on the first video he did like three videos with that song that was the number one uh, country song for i don't know how long but long billboards top for a while and uh so the first video we did was the number one country music video i don't know at that time of all times i don't know where it ranks today but i played rhythm guitar and we did this out on the porch at lake caroline on the deck and uh uh, Brad gave me a guitar, he said, now be careful with this guitar, this thing's real expensive and he's real proud of that guitar, so I'm, I'm playing rhythm guitar. So I'm back there, I'm doing this right here. And he stopped me, he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm playing my guitar. And he said, that is not a slide guitar or a dobro, you don't slide up and down the neck, you just take your fingers and do this. I said, Paisley. I didn't tell you how to fish. You ain't gonna tell me how to play my guitar. So the whole, the whole video, I was up there. Every time he'd turn around, he'd just die laughing. I was, I was dobroing that guitar. <laughs> that big guy. Up here. Man, you're right. That was a lot bigger. Little crybaby bass. <laughs> well, Brad got his priorities right. Got him. Fishing is number one. I like that. Hey, I tell you, we got a unique situation on the lake. When Brad and I started today, we were catching our fish, uh, maybe on some deep water structure and cranking Carolina rig, uh, plastic worm, a jig. I, I had a lot of different thoughts in mind. So not really knowing Brad that well, I didn't know if he could fish or not. You know, I know he's really truly a heck of a musician and a great singer, but I didn't really know whether he could fish that well. So I wanted to do something easy and I thought we'd start off fishing spinnerbait. Well, as it turned out, the fish were just hammering spinner baits, and I changed to a buzz bait, and mostly through a buzz bait, trying to catch a bigger fish. The spinner bait and buzz bait uh, was a killer combination, and there were a lot of fish, not to say there weren't some fish in the deeper water, but there were a lot of fish up shallow, and we had just tons and tons of activity. Uh, shallow water fishing with spinner baits and buzz baits, and, uh, Brad handled himself pretty well. I had to really work hard to cut him off to keep him from out fishing me. I sure wasn't wearing solar bats, I can tell you that. I don't know where I got those glasses, but it looked like a 1964 model. <laughs> when I walk through that door all the way around the clock, you the man. Yeah, I'm all the people know you caught that fish all by yourself. Now that one, I didn't even have to set the hook and hand you the rod. You did that one all by yourself. Like no, I'll let you. That's what that feels like. I I'll let you. Come on, man. Let you have it. Oh, no. Spend all my life watching your show. Here I am. There's another one right there. Look at that. That's how you do it. Watching your show, take, learning from you. Come out here. Well, look what you've learned. You got to be thankful. Well, this guy thinks he's huge and he's not at all. You would have never caught that fish had you not learned from me. You know, you heard me a lot of times talk about how important it is to have a rod that you can roll cast, that you can use your wrist. You know, we fish in timber and you're trying to fish different kind of structures and you're trying to get that bait low. It's so much easier to do that with a little roll cast with your wrist opposed to trying to do a big overhand cast. It is so much easier to take your little pistol grip handle rod and do a little roll cast and flip that bait. You can keep it so low, you can get it up under your brush, you can get it under hanging limbs or not gonna interfere with your cast at all. And then you can get that real soft, real easy entry right into the water. And that is really critical to catching fish on a spinner bait, buzz bait, a lot of different baits, but really with a spinner bait, it is so critical to be able to do that little roll cast and get that bait to land lightly up underneath all that underbrush and then be able to treat. So it really is important that you have the right rod and reel. 
A lot of people go on the seven foot rods, big long handles, popping rods. I use those as well, but I don't use them very often for fishing spinnerbaits. The only time I do that. That has changed. <laughs> I use them a lot now for fishing spinnerbaits. The old five and a half foot pistol grip. I tried to revive it about two or three years ago, and I still like to fish with it. And if you're fishing at Santee and heavy timber, it, it's still the bomb. But uh, for most of what I do, I'm fishing those big popping rod handles, <laughs> seven foot rods. Do that is when I'm fishing open water. If I'm fishing around structure, if I'm fishing around uh, heavy cover, overhanging limbs, you can bet that I'm going to be doing a little roll cast to get that bait underneath those limbs. Then. Yes, sir. Uh, have you had about enough of catching all these bass and Brad Paisley? Well, me neither. <laughs> hey, we got a lot of information, a lot more fun, so stay with us. The length of this wire coming out of the lead head to where the line ties on to this particular bait, it's a, it's a loop. Dad, what do you think about this? What is it? It's called the Fat Rat. Fat Rat. Look at that. Holy cow. Look at that, there was one swimming with it. Look at why I'm at now. Can you believe that? No. Look at that, both of them, big fish. Now back to Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine. No, we didn't get to this portion on. brought to you by Plano Tackle Systems. The system works. Darling, I've been standing here just watching you all night And I think I've even caught you watching me a couple times If I don't ask, I'll never know This may sound dumb, but here we go Do you believe in love at first sight? Me neither I'm glad that we agree, believe me That's a big relief this place is awful crowded and this music is so loud. Would you like to go and grab a bite to eat? Hey, I'm holding a spinnerbait in my hand that I've caught about a hundred bass on. The head's all beaten up from hitting on the rocks and skin up from tooth marks and the skirt's about to come apart. Probably caught 50 to 100 bass on this bait. But the key to fishing a spinnerbait and selecting a spinnerbait to fish cover this is a Hank Parker Classic Spinnerbait. I'm really proud of this bait. It's like Forrest Gump's magic shoes. This is my magic bait. The real key to fishing a spinner... Magic shoes and magic bait. Forrest Gump don't have any more magic shoes, but we still got some magic baits, and they're coming soon. Bait in heavy cover and not hanging up is the length of this wire coming out of the lead head to where the line ties on. On this particular bait, it's a, it's a loop where the, from the head of the bait to the loop where the line goes, the shorter the distance, the more weedless that bait's gonna be. Obviously, you've gotta have some length to have enough clearance when your blades turn not to hit your hook, but the shorter you can have that, the more weedless that bait's gonna be. So when you're selecting a spinnerbait, uh, it's the easiest thing to do is just buy a, a classic spinnerbait, but if that's not the case, look for a short wire, and that bait will be more weedless than a big, long wire. Nice to finally meet a girl who doesn't move too fast I was only checking, that's the reason that I asked Relationships need time to grow You and I should take this slow Darling, tell me, would you like to dance? Me neither I was just being polite, thank goodness My feet are much too tired, I'm sure you're tired too I can see an empty booth would you like to maybe sit and talk a while? Me neither. We never get along, I'm thinking. There's no chemistry at all. This has been a waste of time. And I'm running out of lines. Don't you think it's time for me to end this song? Me neither. Very 
Let's see if you can catch one like it. Oh, I'll buy your share. I'm gonna try it, see what that feels like. <laughs> Uh, you know a lot of times we talk about how to finesse and how important it is to use light line. Well, you can make a mistake by trying to use a small finesse bait and use real heavy line. You can also make a mistake by using too light a line when you're fishing a spinner bait. When you're fishing heavy cover, you want to use heavy enough line because it's not going to interfere with that performance of that bait at all. So you want to use heavy enough line to get a fish out of the heaviest cover. And don't be afraid, like I'm using 20 pound XT, which is a very heavy line, but I'm not afraid to horse any kind of fish out of that heavy cover. All right. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. What you gonna start? Fun doing these rewinds, just looking back. You know, I've had like 50 Ranger boats. And I had forgotten all about this uh, black fox, raspberry, and uh, silver. This, it's killer. <laughs> and, uh, I like looking back at my old boats, man. They're awesome. It's wearing me out watching it. That's the fastest show. I don't even remember being this fast. Good gracious, how many fish do we catch? Can you believe that? No. Look, that boat's a big fish. <laughs> That's hilarious. Huh? Look at that boat, a four pound fish. Three pound fish. Three and a half pound fish. Dad, what do you think about this? What is it? It's called the Fat Rat. Fat Rat. That's something brand new. This is one of your new deals. This is one of our new deals right here. If you like to fish aquatic vegetation, when you have a hard time fishing grass, this is a good bait to fish because you can not only work on top of the grass, but you can work it really quick over scattered grass or matted grass. And it has a big, big old hook right here, big old treble hook, which is very, very important. I like that. I right. think that's a big improvement. Where's your old rat? Um, old rat's retired. I don't, this is the good one. This one. Yeah. It had a two hook mm -hmm. system. You know, and I was always getting that double hook all messed up. I'd get it sideways and it'd get crooked right. in your rat. But now, this treble hook, it's no way to get crooked. I mean, it kind of holds itself. I like that a lot. The neat thing about this bait is if you're fishing on a real windy day and you want to be able to throw that bait and you can stick BBs in there to add weight. Can you not take this bait and stick him underwater and squeeze him and get a little water in him and do the same thing? No. When a fish hits this bait, you see what just right here? Uh -huh. The hooks open up. That's very important. Yeah, I like that. The I air that. allows this bait to fish over aquatic vegetation. Water gets in here, it squeezes like that, and then you hit the grass. It hangs up in grass. With the air trapped in there, you can work it over the grass without pitting grass on the hooks. Well, you little hot dog pros, y'all learn stuff, and I'm glad you bring them back to daddy. That's good. That's a good tip. I appreciate that. And I'm going to look for some of these. No, 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 no. Stop. No, no, no. What do they call fat rats? They named them after you. Oh, ben. ben didn't like giving up his lure now. I got me a handful of them anyway. <laughs> Fat rat, you know, you know, okay. Just, okay.
Is that the trick in the tournament? You just basically pick your little part and yeah. stick it in that area? It depends on what's happening, what the fish are doing. I'm really hard. You know, they could have had giant fish out here in the deeper water on the ledge, but it's hard for me to leave fish when I got something going on, and that's what I, why we ended up staying in the back of that cove all day mm -hmm. when we could have gone other places, but it's really hard for me to go somewhere looking when I got something going on. Yeah. And we caught some quality fish, and quite a few of them. Mm -hmm. So, but there could have been some a better bite and, and a better pattern, but we'll have to figure that out. We'll fish tomorrow, and we right. might figure something else out. That was pretty sporty little time. The baby's born in the middle of the night. The local delivery room. I'll let you out on the deck. They grab his feet, smack him till he cries. He goes home the next day. Yes, Brad. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine Brad Paisley with all his fame today? When he showed up down there, that's uh, Spencer uh, Geis and, and uh, uh, the Slauson family. And uh, they're all down there. And Brad Paisley rolls up in his bus and he said, Man, can you believe I'm fishing with Hank Parker? Uh, I mean, now you look back and can you believe I fished with Brad Paisley? I mean, what a big deal to him. That was a big deal then. Now it's a big deal for me to say I fished with one of the greatest country music and entertainers ever. Oh, look at this. Shadow. Well, I'm gonna miss her when I get home. Hey, we're trying right to fish. That jump drove had no respect. I don't care. I can shut them up. You don't think I can? Watch this. This will shut them up. This is the Magnum Boss Pro. Watch it. I think I want to move back. The Magnum Boss Pro has spoken. This isn't on TV or anything, is it? I've got to find. We knew we had to get him two days at one time or he wouldn't be back. So we're going to have Brad back with us next week. But what a great guy and what a super time we had. And I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you did, be sure and join us next week because it's going to be a little bit more in detail on what we're doing and how we're doing it. But it's going to be the same fun and we'll have some more singing. The warden, let a <laughs> you come back and see us next week. Thanks for being with us. That's exactly where he told me I was the worst he ever heard by far. Nobody ever sang that bad. <laughs> God bless you. I'm Hank Park. Hank's show has been brought to you in part by AC Delco. When the right way is the only way, choose AC. Hey, I love all this. I like looking at these old commercials. I like looking at my hair doing them goofy glasses. I don't know where I got those glasses. I, 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 I mean, Brad, maybe Brad gave them to me. I don't have a clue, but uh, it, it's, it's so much fun doing these rewinds, and I sure appreciate you watching me, and I hope that... Uh, You'll be back for the next one. Like I say, I wish we did one every week, but we're doing one a month, and uh, you don't want to miss them. They're, they're too much fun, and you can make fun of me and laugh and look at my hair doing my goofy glasses, but it's all in fun, and see some young guys out there fishing, man, some, just some kids, and now a bunch of old men. But thanks for watching, man. We'll be back. Gone fishing. Killer song. We got them with it, didn't we? <laughs> Thanks That's for my theme song from here on out. Yes, sir. I think you've right. earned it. Brad Paisley, world's greatest singer.
Andy <laughs> Parker, world's greatest bass fisherman. And we're both exaggerating, probably. <laughs> oh, I knew you were good. <laughs> mm.